Hello everyone and welcome back to the new tutorial. Today we are gonna be creating stamina for our project and I just wanted to quickly announce that I opened my Patreon account for everyone who wants to show support. So let's dive right, dive right into it. First of all, we're gonna go to the UI and I want to change some things. First thing that I'm gonna change is I'm gonna rename this into the widget blueprint master UI. And I will simply use this uh, UI for everything, so we don't create uh, unnecessary UIs. And we can see here we have already our help bar. I'm gonna call it help bar. And we're gonna be adding a new progress bar. We can drag it right into it and we can copy the size. We can put size 545 and here we're also gonna be put the same size and we anchor this to the bottom so this is gonna be anchored to the bottom as well and we can also copy x position so we have it perfectly lined up and this is perfect and we can position it a little bit better like this so we can make it minus 140 this is gonna be perfect and also what I wanted to do is I wanted to create it a little bit nicer so what we are gonna do is we are gonna select our health bar and we're gonna go to the background image and we're gonna change draw us draw us we're gonna, we gonna select rounded box same thing we're gonna apply for the fill image we're gonna change draw us as a rounded box and now you can see we have a little bit smoother corners and the same thing we are gonna do for this one fill image background image that's perfect and for stamina we're gonna put color uh, we can put something like this and you can check it by going to the percent and this is our stamina bar so first thing first what we want to do is we want to create binding so we're gonna press create binding and from the event graph we're gonna see what we did in the first episode uh, sorry third episode we cast it to our character but I think I have better idea and I will actually do it this way so we can just unplug this get all actors of class and I'm gonna select OG player character just like this here we're gonna get copy and we're gonna promote this one to the variable we're gonna call it player ref and we're gonna Ref. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and change it like this so now we need to find here instead of the character ref we can delete character reference and we can get player reference and we're just gonna do it like this so here now we have this set up and we can go to the our stamina percentage we are just we are just gonna call this stamina bar so we don't have problems with naming and here from the stamina we want to get player reference and now pull it here and we will open our character OG player character and we're gonna add new float it's gonna be called stamina and max stamina and this is gonna be float I already explained why float instead of integer it's just a very precise number instead of integer which is like full number and float can be decimal as well and also we're gonna create is sprinting is we can call it is running actually and we're gonna set it as a boolean 
we can compile and save. And now from the player reference we can call stamina that we just created and we can divide it with max stamina. Uh, we can just pull max stamina from here, get max stamina. Oh, we can, sorry, we can do it, get max stamina. And now from here we have it set up and we can pull it right into it. And this should be working perfectly. And now we need to create input binding for the uh, sprinting. So we can go ahead and put it right here. We're gonna use shift keyboard, left shift to be precise. And we're gonna uh, set is running to the pressed and released. When we press, shift we are going to be running so we're going to press check we're running and after uh, we're going to get character movement and after getting character movement we're going to pull set max walk speed we're going to copy paste it again pull target into character movement and now we need to see what is our character movement speed normally so our normal character movement speed we can just press character movement expand the details and we can okay max walk speed is 600 so our max walk speed is gonna be 600 when we are not sprinting and it's gonna be 800 when we are sprinting that should be working I'm just gonna put a bigger number just so we can see the difference perfect so right now this should be working as you can see we speed up this is without sprinting, this is with sprinting. And now we need to set up more things. So, uh, first thing first, I'm gonna add, we can start by adding stamina drain. So I'm gonna create custom event, just under it, custom event, and call it drain stamina. You can call it whatever you want. And we're gonna set stamina but to get stamina we're gonna get stamina and we're gonna subtract it so here you can put custom number but uh, what I really like to do and for the sake of this tutorial I'm gonna do it be better way we can just promote this to variable and call it stamina usage per second and why are we doing this? Because now, if you want to edit the number, you can just pull your stamina usage per second and edit it here. So I want to use, for example, five stamina per second. I think it's a little bit too much, but for the tutorial, it's gonna be fine. And we're gonna put that our stamina is 100 and our max stamina is also 100. We're also gonna put our health back 100 and now we're gonna pull this into set stamina and also we're gonna create new boolean that's gonna be can increase stamina question mark and we're gonna pull it here and set it so uh, we're gonna put a tick and we're gonna get branch we can just left uh, hold B and left click get branch and the condition is gonna be we will get our stamina and condition is gonna be it's less or equal to zero so if it's less or equal then zero we can go and increase stamina we will need it later for our stamina region and we're gonna out of true we're gonna set is running to false and we're gonna get our character movement and we're gonna set walk speed set max walk speed i don't know why that happened and we're gonna set it at 600 
sorry for this I will just close it as we won't need it in today's tutorial so here you just put the value that is default because so it's gonna drain stamina but once it's uh, once our stamina reaches zero it's gonna ask okay can we increase the stamina and if the stamina is zero right if it's zero or less than zero in case we put like eight per second usage so it's not gonna be perfectly zero it's gonna be minus something so zero or equal uh, zero so less than zero or equal then we're gonna set is running to false and we're gonna get it back to normal and the player is not gonna be able to sprint so this will be working perfectly and we will go ahead and call it drain stamina and we're gonna put color we can put that actually red because we are draining we are taking out something and we're gonna pull it a little bit a little bit down and now what we need to do is we need to set up the stamina region so we're gonna go ahead custom event and we're gonna call this custom event S uh, increase or region stamina and we're gonna get is running and from the is running we're gonna create a branch left click so hold b and left click to create branch or you can just manually type in branch and from branch what we want to do is we want to if the player is not running if it's false we want to set stamina and we're gonna get it by getting our stamina and we can just add and the same thing that we did with minus stamina usage per second we can also promote this to variable and call it stamina region per second I really like to have everything in variables so it's not stationary and when I want to change something I can just easily change it like this and we can use stamina region per, se per second as a 5 so every second our stamina is gonna region for 5 and now we can create a new branch and the condition is gonna be we're gonna get our stamina and we're gonna get our max stamina and we're gonna uh, set it greater or equal to 0 we're gonna pull it into condition and now we're gonna set can increase stamina sorry we're gonna set it not get it set increase stamina we're gonna pull it to the true and the second one we're gonna pull to the false so essential essentially what this is gonna do is if the player so we created custom event that is gonna check if the player is running and if the player is not running stamina is gonna region for five per second and from there it's gonna uh, check again branch with condition if our stamina is greater or equal with 100 and then if it's greater or equal than 100 then we are not gonna increase stamina because we have full stamina right but if it's not if we have less than 100 then it's gonna region stamina because we have some space to region left and we're gonna select it all press c and put uh, we can put it stamina region <coughs> or we can just put it region stamina so we don't have confusions and it's it looks nicer we can put it like put it like green and now with that being set up we can go ahead and continue on our sprint so from this from the set max walk speed when we are running we're gonna get the triggerable delay and same thing we're gonna copy paste to down and we're gonna call stamina drain because drain stamina sorry because our character is running right now so we need to take out stamina and we can check the branch what the fuck we can ch check the branch 
I have random things popping on my screen today. So condition is gonna be is running. And if the player is running, we're gonna pull this right. So we're gonna drain stamina if the player is running, right? And after that, our branch is gonna check after this is done, it's gonna call one action of drain stamina. And after it's, it's done, our branch is gonna check, okay, is our character running? If it is, we're gonna just trigger it again. So to make it a little bit cleaner, we're gonna double click, hold control and move it. Same thing we're gonna do for this one. Pull this one back again. So we know what's happening in our code. And that should be perfect. And for the bottom one, we're gonna call region stamina. And we're gonna also check if the player is not running. So if he's not running, he's gonna region stamina. And then again, we're gonna check the, uh, the boolean can increase stamina. And if it's true, then we can just call it again and region our stamina and we're gonna double click it again to make it a little bit nicer here. Perfect. So with this being set up, we can compile and save. We can see our stamina bar works and it looks really good. But we have one small issue right now. If we just hold shift, our stamina is gonna drain. So you can see when we are not running, so we are running now, we stop running, our stamina increases. So let's fix the bug that we have. When we hold shift and stand in place, we waste our stamina for literally nothing. So before calling pressed here, I'm gonna add branch. And condition is gonna be, so we're gonna get character movement. We're gonna get velocity from the character movement. And we're gonna check, check vector length. And we're gonna set greater than 0 0.1. So it's gonna check if we are moving at least a little bit. And if we are not, we are not gonna use our stamina. So if we are moving, we're gonna use stamina if we press shift in place. But if we are not moving and we press shift in place, we are not gonna use any stamina. And I can show you right now, for example, everything works, blah, blah, blah. And I stand in place, I hold shift and stamina doesn't go down. I continue walking, I mean running and stamina goes down. Once I lose all stamina, my character stops, as you can see. It stops running and now it starts, starts regening stamina again. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.